Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about ankle rehab exercises, so one to two months post-injury. I'm Anisha, for those of you that don't know me, and I work at Lily's Creek Clubhouse. The exercises today are going to be focusing in on one to two months post-ankle injury. You will do these exercises in the middle stages of your recovery just to re regain your strength and balance. But these exercises might vary in terms of the stage of which you do it. You may recover sooner from the injury depending on the severity of it. The exercises we do today will depend on your journey. Remember to always consult your physician or your doctor or your physio before taking part in any exercise program because what you don't want to do is end up injuring yourself worse than what's already happened or you may actually be inhibiting your progress. Ah! Let's make a push up. We're just going to do ankle circles. So we'll take that ankle around. We're going to do this for four minutes just to get that motion back into the ankle. Nice and slow rotations. Even moving on those ankle circles. Rotating your toe up and then back down towards the ground. Taking it sideways as well. Good. So remember you can do this sitting down as well so you can sit down as your students. Always make sure the foot is off the floor though so you're getting off the floor so you're getting full rotation. Okay another 30 seconds. Do it nice and gently. You don't need to rush it. There we go. Good. If you find that one leg is badly affected, ensure that you are sitting down. You don't want to put pressure on that leg before it's too slow. Okay three, two, when you're standing and when you stand with slight flexion of the knees, just bend that knee slightly. I want to stand vertically. There we go. Just making sure you're rotating those ankles, getting that blood flowing to that joint. You've got a lot of ligaments around in the ankle. You've got a lot of bones that attach there as well. So you need to make sure that it is mobile before you start doing any sort of balance work. If it isn't warmed up properly, you can end up injuring yourself even worse. Okay, amazing work. So, whilst we're doing this, because it is quite long, um, bear in mind that some of these exercises will require a lot of patience, but they are worth it. And you don't want to rush your progress and end up injuring yourself um, and ending back, in, ending back up into the hospital. Take that from someone who's done it too many times. Okay, here we go, shake it out. So that's the first stretch. Just sit down from here. And what we're going to do is just raise your heels, raise your heels rather. You can do this for another minute, making sure that what you are using, as I mentioned in, our, in the previous video that I did on the ankle series, the section from the mid, middle of your foot to your toes is down after the full pressing. So that archway in the middle presses down, okay? don't want to be on your tiptoes for these ones. You want to make sure that you're engaging the fascia femur, so the calf muscle. So usually at home, um, there is another important muscle that you should be activating, which is the front muscle. So a lot of people forget it. Um, we use this a lot when we're running. So you can start getting back to gentle exercise when you do get back. And there is also another soleus. You need another muscle on here for the soleus, which you do need to strengthen. Um, you normally do this using a leg press. Um, so that's the one where you angle yourself and it's parallel to you. Unfortunately, at home we don't have one. So I recommend you using a band just to get that resistance. Okay, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Shake it out. Depending on the side, it's going to and just walk in that band. Remember, you only want light resistance. You don't want too, too much resistance, okay? Okay, let's get ready. One minute's done now. Let's work against that resistance on your tiptoes. Get on again. This will just build that strength again. So if you're feeling quite tired, just draw back down. Let's get on your toes. So I'm just going to show you that from the side on your toes. 
It's just tiptoe walks. If you're not stable yet to walk on your tiptoes, you can use a mountain wall piece as well, or you can put it inside the wall. Take it slow, guys. So I'm going to go whilst I'll slow it down. Last 30 seconds. Remember, it's just a warm up. You don't have to use a band, you can use um, nothing. <laughs> You're leaving the quads as well. Keep going. Here we go. Last 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And we want to shake it out. The first thing I'm going to do today is a double leg calf raise hold. <laughs> so that's a lot to say in a mouthful. So what we're going to do is, if you got, if you don't need balance, you can do this on the floor. So we're going to go into that calf raise position, bending the knees, bending the hips, and we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. We usually go to the top and start with and then we go to 20 seconds and then 30 seconds, okay? So today I'm just going to go for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. If you're staying on your toes, you're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Just focus on something. And go nice with breathing in and out. Keep the core nice and tight. Just really pushing that arch into the floor. You should start to feel the side of the calves burning. There you go. Lovely work if you want. Okay, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. So I'm sure to take the empty two hips. So one, two seconds back down both hips. Two, three. If you can't do it without any support, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the first thing we're going to do is to turn onto somewhere, go on to one leg, and this time I'm going to go up, just to see that and we're just coming up onto our toe, and we're going to hold that for 30 seconds, and up we go, let's go. This one's more intense, so you, oh, you do feel it. Remember, take as many, as much, as much time as you'd like, you'd like to recover, okay? Maybe recover for a minute or two and then come back. You are getting back to walking. You don't want to tire yourself and end up injuring those muscles. Here we go. Okay, keep going. Watch your tiptoes. There you go. So not your tiptoes, but just remember that arch raise pressing down, okay? Gonna come down in five, four, three, two, and a one drop of one. Swap it over onto the opposite side and at 30 seconds. Work. This is my effective legs. I may drop down because it does tire quite a lot. But the whole reason we do these exercises and hold for such a long time is to get that endurance back because you use your feet to walk, to run, use your feet for daily movement every day. Keep going. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Shake it out. So what we're going to do this time is go back into that whole time we're going to do the single calf raises, okay? Single leg calf raises. So three, two, one, let's go. You can use your stairs as well to do this, so just the edge, but make sure you are holding on to something. So usually you do these um, a lot later in your rehab recovery, just 10 reps. And swap it over. All you got for that is bent. Don't want to do the straight leg because the straight leg targets the calves a lot. We're trying to target, to target the soleus as well. Okay, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, so we're back again. We're going to be doing our fifth exercise this time. It's a donkey, a donkey calf raise. So both legs down to the floor. Hold on to the wall for support and you're just coming up and back down. Up, back down, okay? So 
this ensures that all your weight, not all your weight is going down into the tissues, but it's 10 repetitions. We're just biking it. Okay, we're going for four, three, two, and one. Good, shake it out. So first we're going to stand on one leg. One leg is going to go behind and then we're coming back up. So this is single leg balance. There's three variations which I'll show you. First variation, we're going to go down as long as we can and then back up. That's the first one. So I'll repeat that one more time. Up and then back down. Keep that foot down. Second variation, we're going to go up and back. We don't need that. So that knee goes back and then up. So the foot doesn't touch. And the last variation, we go up. Up into my knee. So you're going to choose the duration that you're going to go for depending on the stage of recovery. Remember progressive overload. Start off from the easiest and then build it up. Three, two, and five, two. So you can go as long as you can. You can touch the floor. If you like, you can touch the mantelpiece or have a stool in front. Two. Three, but do try and stand on your own because you are trying to get balanced back into that ankle. It's okay if you shift when you do get back up, just stabilize yourself with me and go. Try and keep that leg of the back straight. Okay. Spend four more. Three more. Two more. You may feel this in your hamstrings and the final one. Good. Let's walk it over to the opposite side. Three. Two. And one, let's go. That's one. Two. Okay, keep your hands straight up. Three. Four, keep it going. Five. Focus on the spine in front of you. Six. Seven. Eight. Whoa. <laughs> Nine. And 10. Good. Shake it out. So we're going to stand. The way to measure your cones is under squat. And what you're going to do is measure the same amount of feet forward and the same amount of feet back to the side and um, backwards. Okay. So usually what I do is I've got tiles. So I just use the tiles as a guide. I would recommend doing maybe five steps to the front. Go four steps, five steps. Four steps maybe to start the fourth or three. And then do the same from that same spot, but this time to the side and behind again. You can use codes, you can use anything to mark. We're just putting them just a spot of paper just on the floor. Make sure you don't slip. Okay, so I'm going to stand. The three way cone looks like this. You're going to bend the leg, you're going to go back and behind. I've touched the floor, but what I should have mentioned is you shouldn't touch the floor, okay? So you go up and measure. Have someone measure to see where you're standing, or if you can remember, just record yourself so that you can see how far you're going. This will show the range of motion that you have, okay? So we're going to do three ways. So you go from the front to the side and to the back. Once you're done, you swap over to the opposite side, go to the side, and back. Slow me down, okay? If you drop, that's fine. Just work on it. Three, two, one, let's go. The front one is the hardest for me. I need to practice. Good, that's one. To the side and behind. That's two. Try and keep that leg as straight as possible, the one that's reaching out. Three, I'm only going to do five on each side. And behind, whoa. Okay, this ankle is starting to hurt. Two more. And to the side and behind. Perfect, and the last one. Go forward to the side and back is the final exercise. Okay, so we go to the side things as well. So three, two, one. That same spot and behind. See how far you can go, have someone measure it for you if they can. That's two. If you saw what I did, every time I come forward, I try and come onto my tiptoe. You shouldn't do that. Try and keep that foot as flat as you can, okay? Always keep that foot nice and flat. Two more. Final one. Good. And shake it out. 
flower comes on, stretch all the way, stretch your circles. Again, we use these for more warm up. So we're just going to do little circles. Nice and gently. There we go. Just to get rid of any stiffness that's occurred during the exercises. Five, four, three, two, and one on the opposite side. Five, four, you should do 10 reps of each. We could do 30 seconds. Nice and slowly, three, two, and one. We depend a lot on our knees, so we're going to go and roll our knees as well. So we put a lot of pressure on these when we are doing our core mobility movements. Three, two, one. Okay, and the last one, just come onto your heel. Let's just push that heel right down. We're going to have that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, going to feel that stretch at the back of the calf. Three, two, one. Onto your toe, just to stretch the front part. Usually right onto your tiptoe like a ballerina. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, it's going to a deeper stretch. If we go to the side and push that heel right down. I'll lean into it, feel that stretch in the calves. Three, two, one. Swap it over, come to the opposite side. Just down, just normally, just a light push. Five, four, three, two, one. Onto your tiptoe. Ten. Remember, like a ballerina, <laughs> nice and graceful. Three, two, one. And the last one, really push it down, bend the other knee, and push down with there, okay? You should feel it in your hamstrings, but in your calves slightly as well. Three, two, and one, okay? And the final stretch, just for our calves, because we have done a lot of work. We want to go against a wall. So I don't have a, lot, uh, a flat wall, but go against a flat wall. Stand against it. Just put one knee against it. And the other leg behind. Keep it nice and straight. Always keep that leg behind. As you can see, the heel's up at the moment. Keep it down and hold that position. Okay? You should feel that stretch. If you can't, go a bit further back. So keep this knee. The knee that's in front, keep it against the wall and hold. Hold that for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Swap it over. There we go. Keep holding, keep that knee in front. Keep, always keep the leg, the toe behind facing forward as well. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And shake it out. Thank you everyone for taking part in today's exercises. I hope you enjoy those and I hope you're on a way to a strong and swift recovery. If you do need any help or any tips, do get in touch with us and we'll be more than happy to help you. Remember to stay active, stay safe. And we hope to see you soon. Take care, everyone. Thank you for taking part in today's class. Goodbye.